Yeah, um, it's just amazing. Obviously, it was uh, the proposal was very unexpected. Um, I was really shocked, um, but very happy. And then to top it off with a silver medal was just amazing. Um, and, and can we see the ring? Can you just give of course, us you can. I think that's my t-shirt. Yep. <laughs> um, so Jamel, tell me first of all, uh, in terms of the proposal, how nervous were you? Um, <laughs> Uh, tell us a little bit about sort of exactly what happened, sort of from, from the planning stage through oh. to the execution, essentially. <laughs> just to sort of sum it up. Um. Yeah, uh, two months of planning. <laughs> uh, I recruited George's parents, um, her friends, my parents. Um, we all kind of chipped in to make sure she got the ring that she deserved. Um, I decided that I was going to do it at the Commonwealth Games just because obviously we both play basketball. It's, uh, it's an incredible achievement really to be out here playing for our country. Um, and the plan was to do it after the game. I told Georgia that uh, we was uh, going to have a photo at half court, just a media photo. And then all the boys came along um, after the game, crowded around me. We did a little one, two, three England. And then when it opened up, there I was asking Georgia to marry me. Um, and uh, from your point of view, tell me, tell me what, what your version was, what you thought was going on and uh, how, how shocked you were. Yeah, I, well, I just thought we were having a picture taken, so I was getting my shirt on, ready to have this picture. Um, and I turned around and there's Jamel just on one knee and I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> and just shock just took over. Um, I started crying immediately and then realised I had to go say yes. So it took me a while to get over there, but I was like, yes, definitely. It was just perfect. So you pulled it off, a complete surprise. <laughs> yeah, it was a complete surprise. I had no idea. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of interested. That was last Sunday, wasn't it? Um, has, it has there been much chance of celebration? It was sort of very much middle of the campaign, wasn't it? I mean, for Georgia, she's, she, yeah, like you said, it's in the middle of the campaign. Um, obviously, she was fighting for that silver medal, or she was fighting for the gold medal, so, <laughs> um, so, so yeah, it was it was kind of like, enjoy the moment for what it was, and then right back to work that evening, I guess. Yeah. Um, and what about since then? Has there been any chance of last night or anything <laughs> after the match? Last night was the first time we probably could really enjoy ourselves and just take it all in. Um, my family are over here as well right now watching, so uh, that was nice to have them. So, yeah, they'll be definitely more celebrations when we get home when we've got everyone there and yeah be good and just briefly for background i mean obviously you are a you're a basketball couple can you just tell us a little bit about when you met how you met through was it through the game i assume yeah it was uh we were playing for england in the three on three competition fever competition in greece um, and we kind of just became really good friends and one thing led to another we uh fell in love <laughs> how long ago was that uh well four years no about five, five, five years? years. We yeah. met five years ago. Yeah. We've been together for four yeah. years now. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, obviously, you've been busy. Is there any kind of um, planning at this stage? <laughs> even, even just a provisional date in your head? No, I of? think when I got him alone, I was like, wow, we actually have to plan like a wedding now. Yeah. <laughs> this is what this means. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're just going to take our time. We're just really excited. We're just going to enjoy the moment. Um, to, the, to the action on the court, uh, obviously, silver medal for the women you're wearing it there. Mm -hmm. oh, Huge okay. achievement. Yeah, um, just incredible. Um, we came here with a goal to get a medal and we succeeded that. Um, I think we, we shocked a few people. Um, we're just really happy. I'm just really proud of the team and what we did and how we performed. I think we are credit to ourselves and just something to be proud of. And yeah, it's just great. And, and the men's campaign? Yeah, I mean, we didn't, we didn't achieve the goals that we wanted. Uh, we put it all out there on the floor and unfortunately uh, came back empty handed. But it's a progression, it's a process. Um, and I think the England team will come back stronger um just in terms of you know the, the funding battle that's going on back at home does this kind of have added significance in that context you know and, and yeah, I think it was a good opportunity for us to be able to perform on a global stage and show people what we can do. Um, I think we took that opportunity with both hands and um, yeah, I think people should take notice of that. Um, like I said, we did ourselves proud and then yeah, hopefully we can inspire a few people along the way. Was it the case that you wondered if you would actually get out there at one stage because of that whole situation? Yeah, I mean for me, I, I play in Spain, so for my club to let me go was really nice of them to do that. Um, mid-season. Um, I think the fact that we both got to come out here and represent the country was incredible um, and I'd like to think we did them proud. Just finally, I was going to say about that, obviously you play in Manchester, you play in Spain. Yeah. How does it work in terms of your relationship? <laughs> <laughs> it must be quite it's not ideal, <laughs> but we make it work. We've had We've played at the same club before, we've had a little distance, now we've got a bit bigger dif difference. Um, we just make it work. Obviously we know that the rest of our lives are going, going to be spent together, so yeah, we make it work for now.
it's kind of hot, good. but it's kind of nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, a. Full English. B. Fish and chips. C. Sausage and mash. So. Yeah. Um, you're very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the bait. Um, question two. I said it was Estonia. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Oh, Estonia. Yeah. 2006. Smashing it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the, the biggest one is definitely clearing the throat. Yeah. <laughs> three for three. Let's go. When you're ready. Okay, so I said for the first question. Yeah. <laughs> that was an easy one. Um, <laughs> She's definitely the smile. Three, two, one. <laughs> Right, uh, that's it, thanks.